Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Adam Whitfields. I'm the Deputy AD for External Operations here at Harvard. Thank you all for joining us today as we embark on a new, exciting chapter in the history of Harvard Athletics. It is with great pleasure and anticipation that we gather here today to introduce an individual who will undoubtedly shape the future of our football program and continue to uphold the core values that serve as our true north principled leadership, academic integration, and competitive excellence. Two quick housekeeping items before I hand over the mic. First, Aaron and Andy will be available to answer media questions after the press conference in the area here to my left. Uh, and second, we'd like to invite Harvard staff and co-stairs post-press conference to the Murr Lounge for a meet and greet and some food. With that, I'd like to give the floor to Aaron McDermott the John D. Nichols Class of 53, Family Director of Athletics. Aaron has been a driving force behind our athletic achievements and has worked tirelessly to ensure to receive the support and resources they need to excel both on and off the field. We are grateful for your unwavering commitment to our athletes, our coaches, our alum, and the entire Harvard community. Your leadership has been instrumental, and we are honored to have you at the helm. Aaron? Aaron? Thank you. Thank you, Adam. Good afternoon. I mainly want to thank some people who are really instrumental in bringing us to this moment, starting with Adam Whitfield. Um, he's been my main partner in this process. He has given much thought time and energy into the future of this program and he has been a trusted thought partner so thank you thank you to all the others who gave their time and provided advisement particularly the alumni who were involved andrew barry ryan fitzpatrick and eon who thank you to the edgerly family dean of the faculty of arts and sciences hobie hoekstra and interim president Alan Garber for their support in this process. Thank you to the Dean of the College, Rakesh Karana, for being here today. Thank you to Tim Murphy for building up this program and fortifying Harvard football <coughs> over 30 years. You made us an Ivy Envy with incredibly engaged and dedicated alumni community. As a great leader does, you are leaving the program in a better condition than how you found it. And lastly, thank you to Andy Oreck for choosing Harvard to make your mark as a head coach. A little about Coach Oreck before he speaks to you himself. He's from Minnesota. His father was a high school football coach. He knew from watching the impact his dad had on all the people he coached was when he knew he wanted to be a football coach himself. That path became even clearer when he was in college and realized the medical profession wasn't really his passion. But it was his playing experience that made him such a believer in the Ivy model, which he considers to be the purest form of what college athletics should be. And what led him to know he wanted to be a head coach in the Ivy League. He describes himself as both caring and demanding, and a coach who builds a culture around integrity, being unselfish, and being focused. I know Harvard football prides itself on being all of those things too, and being tough-minded, working hard, <clears throat> and, work and playing hard. <clears throat> all of that will continue under the leadership of Coach Oreck. Andy, welcome to Harvard, and to the best color of crimson. <laughs> Michelle, welcome to Harvard. We look forward to meeting the rest of your family very soon. Everyone, our Thomas Stevenson family head coach for Harvard football, Andy Orr. Uh, 
Thank you to everybody for being here. I'm so excited uh, to be the head football coach here at Harvard. Um, there's a lot of work I've put in to get to this point. And uh, before I kind of get started and kind of give you my vision, I just want to make sure I got to thank some people um, who were involved in this hiring process uh, with the search committee. So thank you to Aaron. Uh, thank you to Adam. Thank you to Nathan Fry, uh, Christian Bray. Uh, I got to talk with um, Mike Smith um, and also uh, Jack Reardon, who are two people who really love this place and you can feel their passion for Harvard uh, with my conversations with them. Um, also want to thank uh, Ian Hugh, Andrew Berry, Bryce Fitzpatrick. Same thing, they love Harvard football and uh, it was very obvious in my conversation with them that they want what's best for this program and they're invested in making sure that we uh, can build on Coach Murphy's success here uh, in the future. I also want to thank Interim President Alan Garber and Dean Hopi Hoekstra uh, for their support. I've uh, communicated with both of them already. Can't wait to meet them um, here in the next couple weeks. I uh, want to thank my wife, Michelle. She is an absolute rock star. Um, I would not be able to be here today and do what I'm doing if it wasn't for her. Uh, she holds it down at home. We have three little kids and uh, she, she makes everything work to allow me to kind of chase this dream and get to this point. I want to thank my mom and dad. Uh, huge support system, support me with anything uh, I wanted to pursue and this profession can be really tough early on and you kind of need the support of the family to kind of um, get yourself started and they 100% support me right from the get-go and continue to this day. Um, I want to thank my mother-in-law and father-in-law as well. Uh, they uh, have been a huge support system for my wife um, as we've uh, when I was at Rutgers and because of that opportunity at Rutgers, it has me ready to be the, the head football coach here uh, and ready to be successful as a head football coach. Um, I also want to thank uh, my two former bosses and mentors, Greg Schiano and Bob Serace, who instilled so much in me and gave me so much wisdom and, and really allowed me to grow as a coach and challenged me. And you know what I learned from them, I'm taking with me and I'm gonna use it to make sure that you know, we continue to have success here at Harvard. Um, and the last person I wanna thank is uh, Coach Murphy. So I had the opportunity to talk with him a couple of times now, um, and he has been absolutely great. So much wisdom, giving me great advice, and I can't wait to continue to, to connect with him and bounce ideas off of him in the future um, and just kind of build on his legacy that he's, he's built here at Harvard. A little about me. Um, so Michelle and I have been married almost nine years. Uh, in June will be nine years. So we have uh, a four-year-old, a three-year-old, and a two-year-old. Um, we're in the thick of it right now. So, um, oh, this is Aria. Uh, the middle is Axel, and the youngest is Ace. Uh, they uh, don't know this, but they are going to love it up here. And they, I can't wait to see them grow up um, here in the Harvard community. Um, yeah, so I grew up in St. Paul, Minnesota. Uh, lived in St. Paul uh, my entire life. You know, my dad was a high school football coach and a teacher. Uh, I would spend my entire summer at the high school my dad was a teacher and coach at. And I just still remember these days. The best part of the day was when we got to um, fill the soda machine, which in Minnesota they call pop machine, um, and we get a free soda. Uh, Spent a lot of August days lining the football fields with him in anticipation of the fact he's going to take, take us to McDonald's afterwards and we get a, a Happy Meal or a Big Mac. Um, youngest of four boys, so uh, I had some older brothers who challenged me throughout my years and because of that, you know, it, uh, it definitely uh, toughened me up and, and, and made me a better person because of it. And really, you know, I just grew up around the game of football. And as Aaron said, you know, it was, even though I was a little kid, I could, I could see the impact my dad was having on, on his players, and it stuck with me. So as I got older and started thinking about what I wanted to do with my life, you know, that was always there in the, in the back of my mind, and I knew that's what I wanted to pursue. And you know, really it came all together when I was in college, and being around my coaches, and realizing like, I love football. I don't know if I love anything else I'm doing currently in college. I like it, but I don't necessarily love it. So I had to make a decision, you know, let's, let's dive into this more. And I would spend my evenings after practice 
go grab dinner, and then I come down to the football facility and the offices and hang out with my online coach and watch extra tape and, and learn more football. And uh, from that point forward, I knew I wanted to be a college football coach. Uh, I thought it was the coolest profession, um, and I just wanted to dive into it, and um, that's why I'm here today. So, you know, throughout this whole process, uh, I got asked the question a lot, why Harvard? Why Harvard? Um, which to me was a, a pretty easy answer, and there's a lot of reasons why Harvard. Um, you know, the brand, brand recognition of Harvard is unmatched anywhere in the world. You know, it's an elite um, education that, you know, is the best education, undergraduate education in the world. And then you combine that with the, the rich football tradition that they have here um, that has continued to grow under, under Coach Murphy. Um, and really, on top of all that, um, the type of student athletes that you're around uh, at Harvard are so much fun to be around. Um, I, I told a couple people in the process on this, so I had an opportunity to go to Tampa Bay Buccaneers with uh, Coach Chiano, and I was a young coach, and I was like, man, this is gonna be so cool. I'm gonna be in the NFL, and I got there, and it, it was fun, but quickly I realized like, that's not why I got into coaching, and uh, it's definitely a business, and it also solidified in my mind that like, I love being around Ivy League student athletes. Like, their makeup is different. You know, what they're looking for in their experience is different, and I just wanted to be a part of that, and I knew I wanted to be an Ivy League head football coach from that point forward, and every move I made uh, from that point forward was trying to get to right here today where I'm at. And the other parts that like, really excite me about this place is, you know, this is one of those opportunities that um, you walk into a situation where the program is at a point where we can go and compete for championships immediately uh, with great players who already understand um, culture and have a great foundation. And all I need to do is come in and put my own spin on things and, and build off of what Coach Murphy has already built. And then as Aaron said earlier, you know, the other part of this is this model in the Ivy League is um, different than what you see right now throughout college athletics. And I think it is the best form. And, you know, to have that balance between academics and athletics, I think is really important. And I'm just excited that I get to, uh, to lead the program and, and continue to uh, support that type of experience that I had uh, for our student athletes. So as, uh, as I went into this and I was thinking, what am I gonna talk about? I wanna make sure everybody understands like my vision for what my job is here as a head football coach. And I believe I really have to uh, uh, help my student athletes in four areas. First being academically. I need to help them maximize their academic experience here and take advantage of everything that Harvard has to offer um, as a student and making sure they're reaching their full potential as a student athlete here. Second, I need to help them reach their full potential as, uh, athletically as a football player. You know, my job as the head football coach is to find all the ways that we can uh, help them reach their full potential and take advantage of those and exhaust all those opportunities and find ways and think about things differently to make sure that we are reaching our full potential, each player individually, and that ultimately will lead to the entire team uh, reaching its full potential. Next would be socially. So when I talk about socially, what I'm talking about is you're at uh, an institution that has unbelievable speakers, events, where these student athletes can expand their horizons and leave here um, having their own thoughts on what's going on in the world and, and where it's headed. And the only way that happens is you gotta, you gotta kind of push them and lead them and, and help them out with that. So, you know, it, part of my job is to make sure these guys leave here and they've thought about different things and they have ideas on what they believe and they're not just kind of, this is what I was told when I was little. Like, you gotta get here, you gotta take advantage of this, this opportunity. And then lastly, um, big, big part of my job is gonna be to help them uh, with their postgraduate life. So I believe I need to expose them to as many opportunities as possible of what they could do after they're done playing football. And the, the great thing about being at Harvard is there's so many successful alumni that do all these different things. And my job is to make sure the guys on the team, they get to be exposed to those people, whether it's internships or it's uh, shadow opportunities or just meeting them and hearing their story so they can leave here and figure out what their passion is. Because if, you, if it's your passion, you're never really working uh, when you have your career. And that's what I want to try to help my guys to do. So that's really, as I look at it, my job as a head football coach for each uh, individual student athlete, I know there's expectations 
um, for this program and for me as a head football coach. Uh, and you know, my mind, the expectations would be that I'm developing young men who are going to be great husbands, great fathers, great siblings, um, brothers, uh, co-workers, leaders that uh, Harvard, the Harvard community can look back at and be really, really proud of. Um, and then the other expectation is that we're competing and winning championships. So that's the standard that I'm going to hold myself to um, as a head football coach. Aaron talked a little bit about what our culture is going to be, and I just want you to know like that's the most important thing to me because culture, culture helps you win games. Um, talent can only take you so far. So you need to, to develop a culture that everybody understands. And Aaron, Aaron mentioned it, but we're going to be a group of people that are that sacrifice and are unselfish. We're going to group, have a, be a group of people that have integrity. They will tell the, tell the truth 100% of the time, and they do what they're supposed to do when they're supposed to do it. And we're going to be a group that is mentally tough and can focus uh, when distractions are going off around you. And my job as a head football coach is to make sure that we're talking about that and re reinforcing that culture every single day and making sure that when these guys leave this football facility and head out to class, they're making decisions with that still in the back of their mind because that culture is not something that just helps you win football games, it helps you be successful in life. Um, so I'm gonna make sure that every day we are talking about that. I also just wanted to say how excited I am to continue to meet alumni, um, Harvard alumni and connect with them and uh, build relationships with them and really dive into the tra traditions of this program and this school. Um, cannot wait to get started with the guys. Uh, I had a great team meeting with them yesterday and learned a ton about, uh, about them. You know, it was exactly how I thought it would go. They are uh, serious guys, very engaged, excited to get started. And then I went to get watch them work out this morning and it was the same thing. So, you know, when I, when I said, why Harvard? I mean, after last night's meeting and this morning seeing them work out, I'm even more excited because they are exactly what I thought they were going to be um, when I was going through this process. Um, thank you to everybody for being here. Um, and, you know, I can't wait to, to be in that locker room on, what's the date, September 21st, all right, singing the 10,000 men of, Mar of Harvard with uh, that team and celebrating that first win. Thank you very much. That's a wrap. So thank you everyone for showing up. Um, media, press, please head over in this direction if you want to spend some time with Andy and Aaron. And everyone else, we got some grub upstairs. So help yourselves. All right, thank you.